Ryan Davis, Home Improved Man. I'm uh, going to show you a little trick that I've just discovered. Um, I have these uh, butcher block. I got a table and an island that's of the same material. And uh, recently I sanded them and then have been putting, uh, refinishing them. And I discovered that the, uh, put it in a little bit of the mineral oil, of course, food grade, or for the, for the cutting board grade. And uh, it was still feeling uh, wrong. So I came back and I started really soaking it in. I've now put in three coats using the traditional rag, and but having a really hard time. And so I had an idea. I've tried it out and I find it very, very successful. And so when you have to put down a lot of oil, and if you don't need to use it in the meantime, which it really is, is what's recommended, I have been using a squeegee. Now, when you put it down, I'm not trying to scrape all the oil up. I'm actually using a, a gentle angle, you know, like this, to smear it across the surface, trying to leave a little bit of a, of a residue on the surface to see how much it soaks it up, how much, it's, how much is soaked up. And so by doing so, I allow it to sit on the surface and then soak in as much as needed. So I'm going into my fourth coat, and I've, on the other surface, on, on the island in which I have the other uh, butcher block, I went over twice, because uh, the first time, uh, just in the five minutes of smearing it around, it was already uh, being soaked up by the wood, uh, and so I'm probably gonna have to put another coat on. But this, uh, one of the things that was bothering me about the rag is that, I mean, right now, it's got a lot of weight to it because of all the mineral oil that it has absorbed. And so this absorbs no mineral oil, of course, and it puts all of it on the surface, and I can control how much is left on the surface. If you want to scrape a lot of the oil off, do a very sharp angle, like so. If you want to smear it down, do a shallow angle, and without a lot of pressure, very light pressure, will allow it to stay on the surface, and you will find it, I'm sure, uh, very effective. Now, I probably wouldn't go this route if I had a, a surface that I've been keeping up on, uh, on the maintenance, but because this one has been neglected for so long, this has been a really, uh, a game changer. The only thing you need to be careful of is moving, uh, don't want to move too rapidly because you can throw the oil off the, off the surface onto the floor and be very careful near the edges so that you don't just pour it down onto the floor. Um, but with a little bit of care, you can really leave a good amount of oil on the surface and it'll soak up exactly how much it needs. Hope you found this helpful, and uh, if you have butcher blocks, take good care of them because they, they're a great surface to work with. They're, they're pretty versatile. Uh, I've had these for 10 years, and this is the first time going through and, and doing any sort of maintenance on them. Now, that when I first had them, the reason why I waited 10 years before doing anything is they had a, a, a varnish on them, which I had to go, a urethane, which I had to take off, uh, strip from, sand down, uh, and now, of course, I need to treat it. Um, and I'm planning, once it's oiled, I'm going to put a wax surface on it instead. It requires a little more maintenance, but the advantage is that as it wears, you won't get that patchy, spotty uh, varnish being uh, chipped away at the surface. It'll, it'll, it'll wear a little more evenly, a little more broadly. Um, so that's, and also the varnish isn't really food grade. Not that I eat off the, the surface, I usually eat off a plate. But if food gets on the table, I can just... Anyway, that's too much information. Uh, thanks for watching.